full disclosure, I have no idea what happened to the recording here. It kind of just froze up in areas, but all the audio was intact. Uh, this is similar to the case with Pokemon Reborn, but considering this episode involves major developments in the game's story, I can't justifiably skip over it. I did my best to recover what I could, and at least the audio was perfectly fine, so you can at least follow along with that. I apologize about how bad this looks, but it's the best I could do. Hopefully this doesn't happen again in the future. Hey Pokemon fans, Earl from Pokemon Awesome here, and we've got more Pokemon Emerald Yu-Gi-Oh! Nuzlocke today. Last time we got our first badge, saved Mr. Brownie's Wingle, and battled May in an optional rival battle. This time we're going to be on our way to Doofer Town. So, first things first, I want this item over here. Even if it's just an X accuracy, that's still good selling bait. Also, I fixed the Pain Lanius issue from the last episode. Turns out I had the image with the, uh, the wrong uh, vertical height. Transposed numbers, which uh, caused it to be smaller than it should have been. Alright, we don't need to deal with any of the wild Pokemon here. What we do want is the Miracle Seed from this trainer. It's going to make our grass move stronger. I'm immediately going to give that to Kakuraya. Awesome. And I believe over here is an item. Yep. Get a great ball. Got that item right there to grab. An X attack. More money in our pocket. And I believe... Yep. Potion here. Probably should have grabbed that earlier during our first visit. And we got in the other Pokeball right here. Alright, so the uh, next thing to do is just talk to uh, Mr. Briny. Let's uh, head on out to Duford. And we got Dad's phone number now. And boom. We're here in Duford. Alright. Um, you give us the old rod. Which is really nice. So let me go ahead and uh, register that. And let's get us a match carp. Level 9, not bad. Oh, that was a critical hit. Alright, so, should anything happen to Clausolus or Banella, we should have a really strong contender for a water type. We're going to name this Magikarp. Poseidra. After Poseidra, the Atlantean Dragon. Hopefully we'll, we'll, we won't need a call on him, but if we do, we're good to go. Now, let's go fishing over here for the other Pokemon that's available through Old Rod, which should be Tentacool. 
Torch, I think he's only a 30% chance. More Magikarp. There we go. Yeah, water gun's not gonna be as useful. Um got poison sting no doubt go larva moth all this supersonic ow snapped out nice yep there's the poison sting tackle once more okay pokeball wow not even a shake Okay, let's try that again. Gotcha. So we got two new water types to add to our collection. And this one I'm naming... Skull Kraken. After the card, Skull Kraken. Obviously, Skull with two L's, but with the character limitations, gotta work with what you can, and... I'm just noticing now that Skull Kraken is actually the beta name that they were going to give Gyarados back in Red and Blue. <laughs> so... <laughs> oh, man. Oh, I should have named him Skull Kraken. Oh well. Let's uh, heal up real quick. <laughs> All right. Uh, no. Okay. Now there is a couple things that I kind of want to do involving the Duford Cave. First, I have to get through these trainer fights. Go Larva Moth. Confusion. Okay. One more should take it out. <laughs> As if I can uh, shake off this confusion. There we go. Alright. Closolo's got to level 13 and learned Wing Attack. Nice. Finally have a move other than Water Gun. And we actually have a move that will be useful against the upcoming gym. Granted, the whole animate nature isn't real. Does doesn't look like the animate nature is really kicking in yet. <laughs> All right. Um. Got Stardust here. So it's more money. I believe this fisherman has Magikarp, so we'll put Painlanius up front. Let him get a little of experience. Yep, Magikarps. I'm sorry, her. Quick attack, quick attack, and three. <laughs> Tentacle, level seven. We got that taken care of. Level nine, almost level ten. Quick attack, two, three. Ooh. A four, okay. Not enough for a level up, though. All right, register fisherman Elliot. Don't think I can do anything over here. No. All right. 
I don't want anything on this first floor. So I'm going to put up a repel. I'm going to throw uh, Desdenil up front because he's my highest level. Uh, talk to you. Let's get Flash. Not that we need it. Escape rope. That's right, they give you an escape rope here. Oh well. Alright, now we're in the lower levels, which means we can start finding Aaron and Sableye. Which is what I truly want out of Granite Cave. So I'm just gonna fumble around in the darkness here just to wear out the Repel. Get that Pokeball. Hi, Zubat. Alright. Anything but a Zubat. Because I can guarantee a Zubat in the Altered Cave. Nice! Sableye! I think this is the only chance we get in catching this guy, so... This is a really welcome addition. Aaron would have been cool, but... A Sableye for the first encounter in Granite Cave? Yes, please. Let's get some uh, more damage on him. That should be enough. Let's, um... I'm gonna throw a Great Ball. Two, three... Yes! I'm not gonna lie, I've never used a Sableye ever in any of my playthroughs of any Pokemon games, so... This is gonna be fun. Alright. As for your name, I am really glad you are male, because you are one hell of a diamond dude. Alright, that is awesome. Sableye on the first go. All right, let's navigate through the this cave and give Steven his letter. And now we find the Aaron. Oh well. Another Sableye. Level 10. All right. Can't run. There we go. Alright, I believe... Alright, now we're just running into everything. Heh, <laughs> Zubat. <clears throat> I might want to, uh... Okay, never mind. We got away. A... <clears throat> wow, level 11 Sableye. I think I got a bad roll on the level my Sableye could have been. Alright, let's, um... Switch back to Clausulus. He can at least run away from things. And I know there is... An Everstone up here. Yes, here it is. Not that we need it, just nice to have. Abra. I think I've exhausted all options for Abra at this point. Which is fine, because I'm playing on an emulator, so I can't really get Alakazam. And I'm glad I'm not getting a, uh, I didn't get a Makuhita here. As, as good as Makuhita is, I already have a potential fighting type in 
uh, Desdendal. So I don't have to worry about that. Alright, just one more encounter before we hopefully get into where Steven's at. Here we are. Hand over the letter. And we get Steel Wing. Really good move this early in the game. I don't think I want to waste it just yet. Considering I have two good bird Pokemon to use it on. So I'll hold off for now. That said... I could pull out Diamond Dude and just cheese this entire gym with him. I'm gonna look over my options. So, all right. Alright, let's actually look at our new Pokemon. Jump. That's pretty good! That's a really good nature for him. Plus speed, minus special attack? Yeah! Unfortunately, there's no physical water moves in this game, but... You know, that's still pretty damn good! Skull Kraken, clear, ooh, clear body, nice. Brave nature, attack over speed. So our poison moves will be hitting a lot harder. And <laughs> adamant nature, make those ghost moves even stronger. It's always nice. Yeah, look at that. Ooh. Mwah. We got the Nightshade for the damage. Ooh, yes. I might pull him out for the gym. Let me see what we have going on, though. Um, Painlanius. Still not up to snuff, though. Do I want to go in here? Fight the gym trainers with. Do I want to use Painlanius or Diamond Dude? You know what? I'm so hyped about Diamond Dude. I'm gonna. I think I'm gonna use him. Yeah. All right. Now, I don't have a graphic yet. I'm gonna go make that real quick and we'll be right back.
Bam! Right there we go. All right. Let's um. Let's just utterly cheese this entire gym. I don't think there's anyone over here. No. Is there someone down here? Yes. Meditate. Using detect. That's fine. Meditate. You can't hurt me, brah. I don't know what's going to do more damage. Scratch or Nightshade? Oh, easily Nightshade. <clears throat> and that's your last detect. Uh, Diamond Dude, already with the level up. Yes. Nothing that way. I forget where all these trainers are. I know there's a double battle around somewhere. Yep, here we go. <laughs> what do I have in my second slot? Larva Moth. Okay, that's fine. Bide. Should be able to take out my shop. Nope, not yet. <laughs> and Bide does not affect Diamond Dude. Alright. And level ups all around. <laughs> you can buy it all you want, it's not gonna matter. Makuhita. You shouldn't have anything to hit me with either. Yep. Nothing can touch Diamond Dude in this in this gym. My god. We are just cheesing this gym. It's over this way. Another battle. Just like this, we're already at the same level as all the of our team members with Diamond Dude. There we go. Level 13. Trying to learn Astonish. It's better than Foresight. It's actual stab move. Nothing this way. One last battle. You should have a meditate. Yep. I think Astonish is going to be super effective against you. Detect. Yep, super effective because you're psychic type. <laughs> oh, yeah, Diamond Dude's going to carry this entire gym. And I love it. Watch out. Level 16, I'm not afraid. Critical hit there, nice. Uh, 
Yeah, you just keep bulking up. It's not gonna do anything. Super potion. Oh boy. Critical hit. Nice. Nightshade for the set damage. Just to break through the uh, defense boosts. There we go. Yeah, we're just speeding right through this. Super effective there. Ooh, you have a reflect. It's not gonna help you too, too much. Uh, another super potion. Probably should have went back and healed so I got back all my, uh, my PP. Oh well. Light screen too. Huh. It's not gonna matter. I'm doing now level 15. And Makuhita, level 19. I'm not afraid. I have to play this, um... Close now. Because I'm out of Astonishes. Scratch is only doing scratch damage. There's the citrus berry. Ugh. Why not start using Leer? Just to kind of get his defense down a bit. Alright, yeah, looks like he's not going to be using bulk up anymore. So I think we're good. Let's use Leer some more, though. Alright, there's more bulk ups. Oh, he's already at max attack. Oh, boy. Oh, yeah. And I think Nightshade's gonna be enough. We cheese this gym so damn hard. <laughs> and now Diamond Dudes are actually our strongest team member. Flying types? Who needs the flying types? We got a ghost type. In a fighting gym. You yep, can use flash, get knock up, get a uh, bulk up, and register in the Pokenav. All right. Um, I think, and that's where the recording got cut. Unfortunately, luckily it was during the part where I was ending the episode. And it only cut out my ending spiel. So, as always, thank you all for watching. Don't forget to subscribe for more great content. And don't forget the code YouTube10 for 10% off all purchases of $20 or more at PokemonAwesome.com. Until then, we'll see you guys next time. Also, thanks for sticking through to the end.